I gave my daughters three months to me. And oh, baby, it was a big old hassle. Let me tell you. Oh, I can't hold. She putting us out. Oh, respectfully, I need such and such and such and such. I'm trying to get a truck. It, 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 it was a war in my own home, let me tell you. But you know what? I am so proud of my daughters. I am so proud of them. And they don't even know it because guess what? They don't even talk to me. They will come in the same house that I live in. They'll speak, but it's sort of kind of dry. And they'll go on about their business. No conversation. You can tell I'm an energy person, so I can tell when the energy is off. But it's okay. Because I'm still happy and I'm still going to love them because I'm them. And I want what's best for them. I gave them three months to move. They moved in two and a half. Actually, two. After I had that meeting with my daughters, a month after that, my youngest daughter bought her a truck. <laughs> Two months after that, they got an apartment. Okay, now my daughter's 26 and 24, will be 24. It was time for you guys to leave the nest. It was time for you to actually see what you were capable of. And that's how God is sometimes, you know. What it do, everyday people, man? It's your boy PJ. Today we back with another lit video. We back in the confessional. And yes, we stay in lit, big dog, man. Shout out to my everyday people who rock with me every day. Shout out to my homeboy, Lucky Wheels and Deals. He keeps it lit. Make sure you check out his YouTube channel. Like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Let me know how you feel in the comment section below. Hit the links down below in the description. We got the hivemindlabs.com. We got the custom underscore freaks where you can get you a custom tumbler. Okay, you see I got mine specialized for the Cowboys uh, preparing for the Super Bowl win, okay? Let's get into it, big dog, man. Now you see a mother with two grown adult children still living in a home that she gave an ultimatum that y'all need to live, that y'all need to move out. Now, when I first saw this, well, I just actually, it's my first time actually watching it. I didn't, I just saw the headline. Woman gives her daughter two, three months to move out. I was like, oh, man. And this, this is where I have an issue with that. Because I, when I first saw the headline, I was like, you know what? In the black community, we be so fast to tell our kids, oh, you grown, you need to be out on your own. Once you turn 18, you, you uh, you grown, you got to get you get your own place, you got to do this. When well, all actuality, 18 ain't enough. If you are, if you can and you are able to, you should keep that kid in the home as long as possible. Hence, 24 and 26. And so I'm a commender on this. Like I said, let me get, let me get to it because I, I don't think that what she's doing is wrong. Now that I get the whole full context of the story. But if we give our kids the opportunities to flourish in our home as an adult and let them grow and mature enough to, you know, make better financial decisions at the ages of 24, you know, than 18, we'll put them in a better position in life, okay? Um, but then now that I hear the story, sounds like her kids was being kind of disrespectful. Yo mom wanted the best, what I was just talking about, putting her kids in the best financial decisions or financial space to make better life decisions. And they were disrespectful, probably wasn't cleaning up, probably wasn't cooking, probably wasn't putting no food in the refrigerator. Probably have a couple kids. I'm not saying that they do, but maybe. And then to turn around and disrespect. See, I can tell you right now, mama probably need a man. So she, the kids got to go. Because she don't need a man walking around there like Melvin with her grown daughters living in that home. Mama need to spread her wings too. Mama got to have a life too, Jody. Well, um, the mom did give him an ultimatum. 
and that pushed them to to handle their business which in turn is probably what they needed so i believe the mother did the right thing it might hurt she still loves them but sometimes tough love is exactly what these kids need tough we can be soft on them all day but her standing her ground i commend her for that and for for the, for this segment i tell her she did the right thing and ain't nobody mad at her you know we love you ain't nothing you can do about it i'm still in tiffany and you slow anyway everyday people let me know what y'all think in the comment section make sure you guys like comment subscribe i'm gonna holler at you later peace <laughs>